the second developer beta of iOS 16.2 is here. This is everything that's new. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and Apple has released the second beta of iOS 16.2. Here's everything that is new in this update and then I'll rehash what was available in the first update. Let's go ahead and get into it. Starting off with what's new here in iOS 16.2 beta 2. Now Apple has enabled 5G support for customers in India. So if you are in India on 16.2, you should be able to use 5G. I've confirmed that the toggle is at least there, though some people have reported issues getting it to actually connect. But again, on the new lock screens, when we go to customize the lock screen and add a widget, we can go down and under health, there is new options for medication. So you can add a small one or the double wide one there, uh, whichever one is better for you. And you can view that you've actually logged them all or logged them if you've yet to do so for the day. New with this update, Apple says that animated layout changes now support up to a 120 hertz refresh rate when you have a ProMotion display. And finally, one massive bug has been fixed, and that's when you're here on the lock screen and you maybe went and opened up the camera. Before, you would try to swipe up from the bottom, but it wouldn't work. Now you can swipe up from the bottom, which gets you back to the lock screen, and you can swipe up again to access your phone. Before, you had essentially had to close your phone up and then, or swipe back before going to your home screen. Now let's revisit everything that was new in iOS 16.2 in the first beta. So the first thing is that we have the Freeform application. I will say though, this has already been improved in the second beta of 16.2, including the support for actually syncing your content here via iCloud. In HomeKit, Apple has a new whole home architecture. Now you do have to update all of your devices to be able to use this, but it does make your home more responsive, especially when controlling multiple accessories at once. There's a new confirmation screen after making an emergency SOS call to make sure that you actually meant to call. And if you didn't mean to, you can file that as an inadvertent call with Apple to help them improve the reliability and accuracy of when these emergency SOS calls get triggered. I already talked about the new medications widget here in 16.2, but in the first beta of 16.2, Apple had added support for the sleep widget. So now you can have both a sleep widget or a medication widget here on your lock screen. The sleep widget was previously available for your home screen. This brings it to your lock screen as well. Inside of the weather app, you'll now see relevant news articles. So here I'm looking at San Francisco and I have a news article right here. I can tap on that, it'll jump me into the news application. In the TV app, and boy do I hate this one. Apple has added a new featured section above the up next list. And this includes on iPad, Mac, and Apple TV too, making it harder to get to your up next shows. It's not bad here on iPhone, it's pretty easy just to tap into these. But yeah, on Apple TV, this change absolutely sucks. Lastly, Apple made improvements to live activities. There's a new option for shorter intervals when checking for live activities, and they can be started from a spotlight and sports in the Apple TV and news application. You'll be able to start without requiring a third party app to have them show on your lock screen. And if you have an iPad that supports it, 16.2 brings support for external displays back to Stage Manager. So that about covers it. That is everything new that I have found so far for iOS 16.2. Let me know if you spotted anything else down below in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Otherwise, stay tuned for my next video.